Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to convert a text file to CSV. So let's get in. First thing you want to go ahead and do is um, jump into Microsoft Excel. Now, Microsoft Excel has a lot of powerful tools. We're going to go up to data at the top of our menu. Once we click on data, you can see that you can import a bunch of different types of data. So from the left hand side here, you can see it says from text slash CSV. And we're going to tap on that. Now, basically what it's going to do is it's going to give you the opportunity to open your text file. Now, your text file can come in two forms, either it's a dot txt or the file is a doc x. Um, and Either way, you can do exactly the same thing. So here in mine is here. This is a text file and we're going to tap on import. Now from here, um, it will connect and it will now give me the opportunity to see the sample and the um, delimiter over here. You can just um, choose a comma, colon, equal sign, semicolon, space, tab, um, whatever your data has been spaced with. Now, I'm going to leave it as a comma and then um, the data type detection. You can now do it on the first 200 rows or um, the entire data set or wherever you prefer, wherever your data is. Now, what we're going to do now is tap on the transform data at the bottom of that window and it'll take a few seconds. It'll now open up the um, query editor and here you can see a sample again of your data. Now, you can see obviously this is just for sample purposes. So um, as you can see, this is literally just words in a column. Um, what you're going to do now is go over to the left hand side and you're going to tap on close and load. Now, if you need to make any changes, you could have done it in that previous row. However, what we're going to do here is we can make the changes here. So on the right hand side, we can close that queries and connections. And here, if there's no data in that, we can actually just delete it. So you're going to hit um, the column over here the B and we're going to go to the home tab on the top and we are going to say delete. You can now continue to delete whatever is unnecessary within your doc. And on the left hand side here, you can maybe rename the heading. If you have more data, you can now format this the way you need it. If this was helpful, drop us a thumbs up. We will see you in another amazing video. Cheers.